Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Terrence Williams and in today's video I have another Ankara fabric haul. <laughs> I definitely did a little bit of damage this time. <laughs> In case you don't know who I am, my name is Terrence Williams. I run my small business, Terrence Williams Designs, where I create and sew clothing and accessories with human rights in mind. Everything is genderless. Everything is size inclusive. And in case you don't know Zessie Couture, it is a fabric store here in Dallas, Texas, ran by Grace, and she has so much Ankara fabric. It is my one-stop shop for everything Ankara. I only get my Ankara from her. She has so many beautiful pieces. She also does custom clothing, custom clothing and accessories. She is absolutely amazing and she just got a new shipment in. So a lot of these pieces are from her new shipment. So I had to place an order and I'm very excited to dive in. I'll definitely link all of her information below so you can shop her website. She's also on Etsy. You can follow her on social media. And I'll also leave my website down below in case you want to shop and support my small business. We love supporting small businesses. If this is your first time here, welcome. Make sure you are following along. Hit that like button. Hit that follow button. And let's dive into the fabric haul. Being a sewer and a crafter, you know that when it comes to buying fabric or crafting supplies, that is just as fun and just as much of an adventure as actually making whatever it is that you are supposed to be making and sewing and crafting. I think I love fabrics. I love prints. I love coming up with ideas for things. So hoarding it <laughs> is an art of it in itself. I have gotten a lot better though where I don't just hoard the fabric. I am actually using stuff in my stash so I definitely will be using these Ankara fabrics but let's get into this first one. I really loved the triangles and the detail. As you can see there's orange in the center and then blue and white and then black and little orange dots. I just thought this was so different and interesting and I love the yellow background. I just thought this print was so fun. Not sure what I'm going to make in it but I really loved the colors in this one. This one is one of my favorites. I love the teal with the orange peeking through and if you look closely at it it's feathers. They are actually feather designs, like a feather motif. So it kind of reminded me of a peacock, but I really love the teal with the pops of orange. I just thought it was so different, so interesting and unique. The next one is a floral print. Y'all know I love a good floral. This is a different floral print. I haven't seen anything like this before. I thought the white was a nice contrast to these bright purples and orange. Uh, it was just a nice fun pop of color with the red. If you love black and white prints but are slowly getting into color, this would be a perfect Ankara. I just thought it was really pretty. <laughs> And you know I love a good, unique, abstract floral print. So I picked up this one as well. This one, baby. <laughs> if you know me, you know I love, 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 love prints and patterns. This one was just so fun. I immediately saw it and saw, thought summer vacation on a tropical island somewhere at a party at some rich man's house. <laughs> if this isn't me in a print, I do not know what is. It is just so fun and I'm so excited. I'm thinking of making a co-ord set, so a matching top and bottom with this. Uh, that's definitely the plan. I just think it's so cool and so fun. This one I really loved because of the blue. I love how much of a pop there is with this blue and white print in these little diamonds. And then it looks like it's white and orange in between. 
I just thought the print was really interesting. It reminded me kind of of mosaic tiles, which is why I was originally drawn to it. So this is another one that I picked up. A really kind of fun, slightly classic kind of print. But I thought it was interesting, so I got it. Another floral. You know I love a good floral <laughs> and pops of color. So I definitely had to get this one with these pink and purple flowers with the black and white background. I really am digging the, like a black and white background with the Ankara with just like pops of color like in this floral print. They have the black and white with the pops of color. I really, really love that kind of color scheme this one again i thought was really pretty perfect for spring and again i love me some floral prints <laughs> this one i was probably the most excited for so if you follow grace or zesty couture on tiktok she does tiktok lives she goes live a few times a week and during the live if you want to see a certain color palette, she will show you. So she'll hop on live video, and if you say, Grace, show me all your red prints, or show me all your yellow, all of her stuff is color coordinated. She will pull everything out for you piece by piece. She will hold it up. She will open it. She will tell you how many yards there is, give you all the information, and then you can take a screenshot on the live, and you can email her, message her, wherever and send her the pictures of the prints that you want, or you can look them up on her website. She makes it really easy to shop. So we were on Instagram Live, and I saw this print, and I said, it's mine. It is mine. <laughs> there were so many people in the chat fighting for this print, but I said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I'm happy I was able to grab it and... I love the colors. It is so bold. It is so fun. I love the teal and the blue and just the bright yellow. It's just such a fun print. And it's so abstract. Probably one of my favorite prints that I picked up from Zesty Couture. Definitely will be making a bold statement piece with this. This next one I thought was really pretty. I loved the little details here. I love that there's a border. I would definitely make a pair of pants or a duster up, up with this because, I, again, I love this border. The cracked red. I don't really have a lot of red in my wardrobe, so I thought this would be a really nice addition. And again, I just love this kind of mandala print here. Let me open it up so we can see a little more yeah I just thought it was so cool and so different and unique and again I love all of the little details not sure what I'm going to make with this but it was definitely a must-have because again the red was just so bold and again I love the border love that border piece we have another floral print of course <laughs> It's not a fabric haul without many florals, but this one I thought was really different. So it is kind of these Hawaiian flowers, but I really love the, like, the black and tan kind of marbled scratchy background. So it's a nice twist on it, like a traditional Hawaiian kind of t-shirt print. I really loved the pops of yellow here with the white flowers. Not sure, again, what I'm going to do with it. But again, I just thought it was really pretty. And then this is the last piece. I saw this fabric before and I liked it, but I wasn't sure I loved it. But then I saw someone create like a bustier top with this fabric. And when I saw someone else make it, I was like, oh, I need that fabric. I love it. It's mine. <laughs> So the next time that I went back to Grace's, I picked up this fabric. I think there's only three yards left, so I'll be able to squeeze a little bit of it, uh, the rest of it, to make the bustier top. So I have just enough, thankfully. But I was lucky that I was able to grab this when I had the chance. But that is the fabric haul from Grace. Those are all the fabrics that I picked up.
I'll also show you extra bonus content. Some of the con uh, some of the fabrics that I got from my trip to Fabric Warehouse here in Dallas. Usually, when I go into Fabric Warehouse, I leave with bags and bags and hundreds of dollars worth of stuff, but I behaved myself this time. <laughs> so at Warehouse Fabric in Dallas, they have a sample or um, dead stock bin. So it's fabric that they only have a little bit left and what is left is left and you get it when you get it and it, once it's gone, it's gone for good. So I picked up this power mesh that has this really pretty floral motif, kind of like with these neon roses with this off-white background. I thought it was really pretty. So for this, ooh, I'm caught. <laughs> so for this, I'm definitely going to be making some kind of top if I have enough or a dress. I also love the sample dead stock bins at Warehouse Fabric because the fabric is literally, in those bins, $3 a yard. So it's pretty inexpensive. You can make a whole outfit for $3. So this is the first power mesh. I'm obsessed. And then this was not in the sample bin, but I had to get it. It is another power mesh. Of course, another floral. But look at it, y'all. It just has these huge Baroque kind of roses on it. This is definitely going to be a long sleeve dress. Probably similar to the one from Jordan Wood's new line. I love that dress, but I'm not paying that much money. <laughs> it's like hundred, a hundred and something dollars. And I was like, girl, I can make that myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna make my version with this Baroque style romantic fabric. I just think it's so gorgeous. And it is, again, a power mesh, so it's super stretchy. It'll definitely hug all the curves of my body, which is what I want. So this is another fabric that I picked up. And then the last few fabrics are knits. I found this kind of tribal knit, southwestern print knit. Uh, has some good stretch to it. Again, I found this in the sample bin. I really love these colors. This is perfect for fall for a cardigan or a sweater. It's really soft and comfortable. So I'm definitely going to make some kind of cardigan or sweater with this material. Of course, I could not pass up a good leopard print. This is like an oversized leopard print, but I love how it's kind of a, a tan brown. This has a good bit of stretch to it. And as you can see with the sample dead stock, what you get is what you get, child. Who knows what this was before? <laughs> That's the thing with dead stock fabric. You don't necessarily know where it comes from or any of that information. But if you like it, you better grab it. And I saw this and I liked it and I loved it. So I definitely will be making probably, I don't know, I think a cute dress, a cute dress in this print. It's a really good stretch knit, lightweight, but I really loved the print. And then we have one more. We have, of course, another floral print, but I love how this one was just dark and moody. I love the flowers, how they have the pop of yellow in the middle with the leaves. This again, it's another stretch knit. Feels very warm and comfortable. There's not much of this fabric, so I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna make with it, but you know, y'all, I always make it work. <laughs> So those are the fabrics I got from Warehouse Fabric. See, I didn't spend too much. I did not spend too much. <laughs> I'm very happy, and I definitely am going to make some stuff with these fabrics. So I'm happy with my little haul. 
And that is it. Those are all the amazing, beautiful pieces of Ankara that I got from Grace. Again, make sure you check out Zesty Couture. I will link everything in the description. She does have a website. She does have an Etsy. Her shop is super easy to find, super easy to shop. And thank you again for supporting Black-owned, woman-owned businesses. And I will see y'all in the next video. Let me know in the comments also if you get anything, what fabrics you got from Grace and Zesty Couture. See y'all in the next one.